Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. Your skincare products are only as good as the habits that you adopt because your skincare routine is more of a practice than a one-time thing. In today's video, I'm sharing with you guys five beauty habits that you can incorporate right away into your skincare routine to level it up, so to speak. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel, I post a lot of skincare, makeup, lifestyle, and hair-related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed, and without further ado, let's get started. one is something I actually learned from an esthetician and what she recommends is to rotate your cleansers if you're like me then you love basic cleansers I just need something to remove the makeup and debris off of my face I'm not too particular about the cleansers that I use but especially if you're someone with sensitive skin it may be useful to rotate your cleansers not that your skin gets used to it or anything but sometimes it's good to switch it up a little bit just to kind of shock your skin into acting right in my routine i would typically have a gentle cleanser that i would use pretty much every day and then a cleanser of choice with an active ingredient in it so this for me is a salicylic acid cleanser or an exfoliating cleanser now this active cleanser is not something you want to use every day but maybe two to three times a week you can switch out your cleanser for this one to give your skincare routine a little bit of an enhancement tip number two now this practice isn't really new but for me personally it's something new that I've been trying and this is actually derma planning not the intense derma planning though that you would get at an esthetician's office but just simply shaving off the peach fuzz from your face now the reason why I haven't really been doing this before was because I had active acne and it's really important to not do this if you have active acne because you don't want to be irritating those pimples, those raised bumps on your face. But once your acne has subsided and your skin is doing good, you can give it a little bit of a shave. Now this act of shaving your face will do two things for you. Number one, it'll make your skin super smooth. If you ever apply to makeup on your face after just shaving it or if you, you know, like if you apply your eyebrows or concealer on your eyebrows after you've just waxed them, it is smooth. It is smooth. Same thing with the rest of your face. You'll find everything just goes on so much better and looks better in photos, looks better in person. It just looks really beautiful, clean, and bright. The second thing it will do for you is it will help your products to absorb better into the skin. I don't know what it is, but having a clear surface to work with just allows the product to not stick on the hair, I guess, or the dead skin that's on the surface and really help to just go straight to your skin. With that being said, how deeply your products will penetrate has more to do with what you do after than the derma planning itself, but it's something that will really help. Tip number three, never let your face mask dry. Now this is particularly important when you're using clay masks. Clay masks have this amazing quality of getting rid of the excess oil on your skin, getting rid of congestion, and just giving yourself a breather when your skin is just doing the most. But um, for anyone who's tried really strong clay masks, for example, the Aztec Healing Clay, you'll know that if you let it dry on your face, sometimes it can start to tangle itch and it can leave some redness on your skin which actually is not a good thing you can be getting some inflammation that way and also because it's so drying it can actually dry out your skin even more making your skin produce even more oil to compensate for it which is exactly what we want to avoid here's what you can do instead on a night that you're going to be wearing a face mask cleanse your face over the the sink of basin and put on your face mask step into the shower and allow the steam from the shower to prevent the mask from drying down this will just make sure that you get the benefits of the mask without it fully drying in your face. And best, once you're done with the shower, just go ahead and rinse your face with some cool running water, not hot running water, and then you'll be good to go without any mess and without any dryness. Tip number four, with all the active ingredients and exfoliation, just really harsh things that we do to our skin, or at least I do, it's important to have a skin rebarrier day or week. Incorporating this type of time into your skincare routine by giving your skin a break from all these active ingredients will allow your skin to actually rebuild itself. Your skin barrier is there for a reason and a lot of the things that we do on a daily basis kind of deteriorates that skin barrier so you need to give your skin some time to just replenish itself. I make use out of all these good ceramides and really good calming ingredients that just help to soothe my skin and I've definitely seen an improvement in the quality of my skin from giving it a 
break from actives. And lastly, tip number five is one that I feel like I've been preaching for a very long time, and it's to moisturize your skin while it's damp. When you moisturize already dry skin, there's only so much that the moisture can do. It's not gonna pull it deeper down, it's just gonna kinda stay there on the surface, to be honest, because your skin is already dry. Now, if your skin is damp, it's going to pull water deeper within the skin and allow that hydration to stay within. This is especially important if you're using products that contain hyaluronic acid, glycerin, or other types of humectants, because how they actually work is that they move water molecules from a moist environment to a dry environment. So picture your skin in the different levels. So you have the surface of the skin and the other levels of the skin. If the surface of the skin is wet, then that means that the lower levels are going to be dry. So it's gonna move water from the top to the inside. Now, if the surface of your skin is dry, then inside your skin is gonna be more hydrated than the surface, and it's gonna pull water from inside to hydrate the top of, the, uh, of your skin, which is completely the opposite of what you want to do. And when you moisturize on dry skin, this is how you get dehydrated skin, where the skin down beneath feels really tight and dry, but on the outside it feels really hydrated and moisturized. That's exactly the problem. So, moisturize on damp skin and you'll avoid this altogether. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tip skincare video. Leave a comment down below and let us know any tips that you have for upgrading your skincare routine because I would love to know. Go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you, lovely ladies and gents, in my next video. Bye.